Concluding his three-day trip to South Sudan, the United Nations Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs, Stephen O'Brien, called on armed actors to silence their guns and the culture of impunity. There is no military solution to this conflict. The fighting must stop and the atrocities must end immediately. I call on all armed actors to immediately silence the guns, end the culture of impunity and allow civilians to live in peace. Speaking at a press conference in the capital, Juba, O'Brien said he met with the country's president, Salva Kiir, and discussed the worsening humanitarian crisis, which he said had deteriorated. Sadly, since I was here one year ago, the humanitarian situation has significantly deteriorated, including in areas that were relatively stable last time. And, uh, I, I have to say displacement and hunger are now widespread across the country. During my visit, I had the opportunity to meet, as I've said, with His Excellency, the President of the Republic of South Sudan, Mr. Salva Kiir Mayadit, and his most senior government officials to discuss the dire and worsening humanitarian crisis. I expressed my shock and dismay at the appalling reports of violations committed against civilians during fighting in recent months, including here in Juba. In particular, I condemned the heinous acts of sexual violence carried out against women and girls, including by members of the armed forces. I also reiterated the need for humanitarians to be granted free, safe and unhindered access to all people in need, wherever they may be, and for humanitarian workers and their assets to be treated with respect. He said fleeing communities needed to be protected and their lives saved. Let's be clear. People are not just fleeing their homes because they need food, shelter or medical care and school for their children. They are fleeing through fear for their lives, just as you or I would if faced with the same hideous threat. We must protect them and we must save their lives with food, water, medical care and shelter. The humanitarian chief spelt out that many people had been displaced since 2013 when a previous conflict erupted. In each location where there has been fighting, civilians have been attacked and forcibly displaced. Over two million people have fled their homes since December 2013. Some 1.6 million people are displaced inside South Sudan, with more than 900,000 people having fled to neighboring countries. Just last month, more than 60,000 South Sudanese crossed the border into Uganda. Across the country, some 4.8 million people are severely food insecure and a quarter of a million children are severely malnourished. Again this year, we are battling a cholera outbreak. Expressing his admiration for the unwavering commitment of humanitarian workers, he said they faced many challenges as they worked to help the needs of suffering populations. Humanitarian workers are saving lives while risking their own, and I am appalled that they continue to be harassed, targeted, and even killed. During his three days in South Sudan, where he also highlighted incidences of malnutrition amongst babies in the town of Awil, the humanitarian chief also met with other government officials and NGO workers.